So you're going through open houses again and again and finding the property that you love and you're losing on bidding wars. There's nothing worse than that. So here are the five reasons you're losing on bidding wars so you can figure out what you can do to win the next one. Coming up. Hey everyone, Kai here with the Kaiwan team, helping you better understand everything you need to know about New York City real estate market. Losing on bidding war sucks, and here are five reasons why you might be losing yours. Reason number one, the other buyers are pre-approved. What we're talking about is they went through the process of speaking to a bank or a lender to get themselves pre-approved for the purchase of the property. They got a letter saying, hey, I'm ready to buy, I'm capable of buying, and the bank is willing to lend me money. That shows to the seller that, hey, they have their funds available, and they should be able to get the loan. Reason number two, you're asking for too many conditions. What that means is you're asking them to fix certain items while the next buyer is saying, you know what, I'll take it as is. And for the seller, obviously, the less they have to do, the less money they have to take out of their pocket, that's much more attractive. Depending on what your condition is and if it's small things that you're asking for, if it's something nominal, it might make more sense to just say, you know what, I'll take it as is just to get your offer accepted. Reason number three, they're offering more cash. I'm not just talking about the all cash buyer that's coming in and saying, you know what, I'll put all cash on it. I'm not even financing the property, I'll take it. Because in those situations, obviously the seller's saying, hey, one person's financing, getting a mortgage that they may or may not get while the other one's just giving me all cash. I don't have to worry about that. So for most sellers, they just go for the all cash deal because if you're comparing apples to apples, the same price, all cash always wins. What we're talking about is when we're talking about putting down more cash, they're putting down a higher down payment. For example, if you're doing the standard 20% uh, down payment while they're putting down 30 or 40%, the seller might say, you know what, the person putting down the higher down payment has a higher likelihood they'll get the loan. So let me go with that guy instead. Reason number four, they're doing their homework. What we mean by that is they're actually going out and seeing what other properties are selling or uh, going into contract at the price. Unfortunately, a lot of the first time buyers, they, they try to lowball and try to get, get a counter to work with. But unfortunately, when the gap is too big, and the seller has other options, they're not even considering the lowball options or giving a counter to it, thinking that it's too far-fetched anyway to make a deal ever happen. So they just let it, let it go and go to the next buyer. Reason number five, you're too slow. It's important to be the first one in, and what we're talking about is staying on top of the market, finding out what properties co are coming on the market that fit your criteria. You can either do that yourself by staying on top of sites like StreetEasy, um, Zillow, or the Gasellman, or you can hire a broker that can stay on top of the market for you and let you know, hey, I just saw another property that fits your criteria, do you wanna check it out? The benefit of that is being the first one in seeing the property, um, you have less competition generally, unless there's other buyers that are staying on top of market as well. It's always good to come in first because say two, that, two open houses down the line, then when you find out, there might already be an accepted offer. So get in first and find out if that's the right property for you before everyone else comes in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these five tips are beneficial for you. Let us know if you have any questions and if there's any other videos you want us to do in a future video, let us know in the comments below. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.